हे हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू अवर माइक्रोसॉफ्ट डायनेमिक्स थ्री सिक्सटी फाइव फाइनेंस एंड ऑपरेशन मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो इन द सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ अवर इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द पोस्टिंग प्रोफाइल सेटअप इन अवर इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल मैप द मेन अकाउंट विद द रिलेटेड इन्वेंट्री अकाउंट विच विल बी यूज इन अवर फ्यूचर एपिसोड फॉर द इन्वेंट्री ट्रांजेक्शन सो लेट्स गेट इन टू द इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल एंड द पोस्टिंग सेटअप सो वी नेविगेट टू द इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल इन साइड इन्वेंट्री मैनेजमेंट मॉड्यूल अंडर द पोस्टिंग वी हैव पोस्टिंग टैब सो इन साइड द पोस्टिंग सेटअप वी हैव मल्टीपल टैब फर्स्ट इज अ सेल्स ऑर्डर फॉर द सेल्स ऑर्डर अकाउंट सेटअप वी विल डिस्कस इन अवर फ्यूचर एपिसोड वेन वी डिस्कस अबाउट द सेल्स एंड मार्केटिंग मॉड्यूल वाइज ट्रेनिंग सीरीज सो द नेक्स्ट वन इज अवर परचेस ऑर्डर वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट द परचेस ऑर्डर पोस्टिंग सेटअप इन अवर प्रोक्यूरमेंट एंड सोर्सिंग मॉड्यूल सो यू कैन वॉच दैट एपिसोड to get an idea about the account setup and how the account transaction will be happen so the next one is our inventory so the inventory section is very straightforward as compared to other purchase order and sales order setup so this video might be small as compared to other videos in this series first we map the account for the inventory issued so let's add the new inside item code as we discussed in our previous episodes we can assign the table group and all item code for this main account so tables means where you can directly add the main account for the each single item so you can select the item from here the next one is a group inside group you can create one item group and assign this item group to the required item so you can map this item group for the main account and the third one is all so in the general practice we will create a item group and assign this item group for the main account for now simplicity i have just add the this main account for the all so i selected the all here the item relation when you select the all no need to select item relation because it's applicable for the all item inside the inventory next one is a main account so we have already created inventory account for the inventory issued inventory issued means let's take an example you are doing the inventory adjustment that is where you are reducing the inventory stock using the inventory adjustment journal so since we are reducing the inventory stock which is actually posted in that inventory issued account inventory issued account is an asset account so it's getting reduced which means that this account uh, 140100 inventory account is get credited because the reduction in asset account is always credited the next important is a inventory expenditure loss so let's click on the new in the item group we selected the item code as a all in the main account we have assigned profit and loss account for this inventory expenditure so 510 500 this is our inventory profit and loss account so we'll assign this account to inventory expenditure for the inventory expenditure loss this 510 500 inventory profit and loss account is debited which actually an expense account so when expense account is increased it's getting debited when your company expenditure which loss is increase then it is this in turn debit to this main account the next one is a inventory received for the inventory received we click on the new set is item code here we assign the same inventory account which we assign in the inventory issued so in the inside the inventory received we'll take the same scenario which we discuss in the inventory issue you perform the inventory adjustment to increase your inventory stock then which again increase your inventory asset then debit posting is happen to this 40100 and the debit posting is happen to this inventory receipt account the last one is a inventory expenditure profit likewise for the inventory expenditure loss this offset account inventory expenditure profit is getting credited so let's click on the new again assign our profit and loss account for this this time when inventory expenditure profit is getting credited which means that your inventory expenditure is credited so your company profit it getting increase so these four inventory issued inventory expenditure loss inventory receipt and inventory expenditure profit will get affected during our transaction which we performing our next couple of episode i will also demonstrate you the all the account entries so when you performing the inventory transaction so make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the latest update of our future episode on inventory management module series we also have the inter unit payable and inter unit receivable account 
we will assign this offset account when we discuss about the transfer order process so you will get a better idea when this inter unit payable and inter unit receivable account will be hit so that's it for this video from the next episodes we will start for the transfer order in d65 finance and operation so thank you for watching